What if the idea of the atom was not discovered in a laboratory, but in the mind of a philosopher? Long before microscopes, equations, or modern science, ancient thinkers like Leucippus and Democritus asked a radical question. If we keep dividing matter into smaller and smaller pieces, does this process ever end? Their answer was no. They argued that reality must be made of indivisible units and empty space, a bold idea that later became known as the philosophy of atomism. According to Democritus, everything we see, touch, and experience is the result of invisible atoms moving through the void, combining and separating according to necessity. Even our perceptions, he claimed, are not direct encounters with reality, but effects produced by atomic interactions reaching our senses. Epicurus later modified this view by introducing chance into the system. He imagined atoms occasionally swerving from their paths, allowing collisions, complexity, and ultimately human freedom to emerge in an otherwise deterministic universe. This small adjustment transformed atomism from a cold theory of matter into a philosophy of life. Lucretius carried these ideas into Roman culture through poetry, arguing that nothing comes from nothing and nothing truly disappears. And centuries later, during the Renaissance and the Enlightenment, atomism helped inspire the scientific worldview that shaped modern physics. The atom, it turns out, was discovered twice, first by philosophy and only much later by science.